Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. Today we are looking at angry men and uh, we are not looking at 12 angry men, we are just looking at two. Uh, the first one was possibly Josh Kettler, the second one is Harry and we have heard that Harry was born angry. That was from Nanny, Nanny Barnes. I think she was Barbara Barnes who told La Lady Anne Glen Connor that Harry was born angry, which is an interesting observation. And uh, people wonder about that. Maybe Spencer Jeans, maybe something. I don't know. We had a, a bit of a born angry in our world. And then it turned out to be born with allergies. So that was uh, the solution to that problem. But um, born angry, Harry, and now an angry boy. According to an old, old, old friend, one of the last remaining friends in his world from his old world in the UK, who occasionally gets WhatsApps from the has-been. And uh, this friend has told the press that Harry is an angry boy, angry that things haven't turned out the way he wanted them to, things in the United States. And this friend says that despite the appearances to the contrary, uh, for instance, in Colombia, we've seen him dancing and holding hands and looking happy and pleased with life and engaging with people and even kissing her. Uh, despite all of that, beneath the surface, he is angry and frustrated and he would rather be in Britain with his friends and family. And the part, part that I found most interesting was that he desperately wants to be admired more. So I have one of my favorite tarot decks on the tarot table for this reading, the Shadowland Tarot. It's about seething, anger, frustration, all the things that are buried beneath the surface, hiding in the shadows, projected outwards. And we're going to do a Celtic cross and we're going to ask about this anger issue. And we're going to ask, What's really going on? What's at the root of it? Who does he blame or who is to blame or what is to blame? And uh, his focus in life, does he really want to be admired more? I'm going to ask about that born angry thing. And uh, I'm going to ask also how he's going to turn out ultimately, how he sees his own life and what's going to happen as he grows older and William accedes to the throne in due course and or in the fullness of time, shall we say. That's a better expression. And uh, things maybe just keep going the wrong way, keep disappointing him. And he doesn't get that attention and notice and acclaim and admiration that he so desires. Is he going to turn into a bitter and angry old man? That's what we're going to ask today. And we can do so because it's tarot for fun and entertainment. This is all my opinion. It's all speculation. We just read energy here. And there is, of course, a disclaimer in the box below. So let's have a look at Harry and his... Uh, anger that this friend has claimed is afflicting him. This is one of the last remaining friends who occasionally hears from the has been. And it sounds a bit self pitying, wanting to be admired more. They don't love me anymore. No, they don't. The Empress is the underlying energy. Uh, mummy. Mummy issues. Mummy showing up. It's also, interestingly, it's coming through to me quite powerfully as just Britain. Home. Mother. The mother country. Where he belongs. Where everything was ripe and possible. And it was plentiful. And he was valued. Because the Empress is Venus energy. It's about what you value. Uh, where you have worth and status. And you feel powerful because you're tapped into the roots of your, uh, your, your world. You belong absolutely. That's a very, very powerful Britain energy coming through for me. It's the queen, it's mummy, it's home, it's all those wonderful things. 
and uh, so there it is sitting uh, as the underlying energy as fluffy is sitting at my feet as my underlying energy as I'm doing this uh, and uh, looking for food so uh, a situation Harry anger what do we have we have the seven of cups and this is somebody who believes in possibilities who thinks all doors are open and all things are possible he's a bit unrealistic really about their situation their potential their reality and so that's interesting that we have someone who's a bit deluded someone who still thinks that they deserve all those awards that they keep getting um, that they are worthy of admiration still possibly and of course we are reading energy and we are speculating and expressing opinions here but that's that is somebody who still feels that they have a, a certain charm a certain potential on offer what's the problem and we have the emperor i'm not king that's the problem <laughs> Pa is currently king and in the fullness of time William will be king and William will not be inviting him to the coronation we've heard that and William does not speak to him hasn't spoken to him for two years William will ice him right out and that is a big problem this is somebody who really thinks that he should be the king of the world and is now handbag carrier uh, spare to herself and only useful uh, occasionally when she wants to go on tour and needs a prince to escort her around so that the doors will actually open for her to go on tour and uh, so there it is wants to be king angry that he's not we're dealing with anger here yeah, alleged anger coming from those who knew him as a baby nanny bonds and uh, those who know him now and interesting that they call him an angry boy a man who is on the brink of turning 40 middle-aged man and he's an angry boy so let's see what the cause of this is his anger what is the cause ten of pentacles in reverse kicked out of the royal family cut out Ten of Pentacles is the royal family, and I say eternally, it's about lineage and belonging and succession and passing down the line and all of that lovely stuff, castles and money and jewellery and uh, land and things. And But William's got all of that, and there has been had to go out and work and earn his keep in America and was cut off from that bounty that he possibly thought was his all those sausages that he didn't get to eat so what does he want what's his mind on me here that he wants to be admired more we're getting the sense here with the emperor and the seven of cups that that might be quite uh true according to the cards anyway the energy of the cards what does he want he wants nine of cups he wants oh he wants it all the Nine of Cups is the wish fulfillment card, the dreams come true card, the lavish lifestyle, the luxury, the indulgence, the pampering. It's a spoiled energy, the Nine of Cups, even when it's upright, because it's indulgent, self-indulgent. He wants to be adored. It's cups, it's emotion. He wants to be adored. So much uh, energy in that card telling me that there is resonance there with what this alleged friend is saying about Harry it just sings off that card for me energetically that nine of cups that is what he truly wants he wants to go back to that place where he was the most popular royal he could lead the life of a lush and indulge every whim and it was covered up and he was protected and he could be lazy and entitled and yes I'm expressing my own opinion and it's a quite a poor opinion of somebody who hankers after that lifestyle the only lifestyle he probably ever knew until he was cut off from it ten of pentacles in reverse 
I want to know now, past energy, born angry. What about born angry? And I've got the magician here, conjuring energy, conjuring energy. It's giving me spoiled vibes, that magician card. Because a magician, as I always say, the magician has everything, all powers. You can do anything you like. You can manifest anything. You can click your fingers and it happens. I want to wear a uniform like daddy wears. There's the uniform, the little tiny uniform. I want to go so-and-so. You get swept off to so-and-so immediately. There is no saying no to that energy, that magician. It just does. It wants, it gets, it makes happen. And so no boundaries, no limits, no order in that world. Just a world of power and indulgence there. Quite amazing. Never, never read that card like that before. But it's coming through in this context. It's coming through very powerfully of that kind of brattish, spoiled energy of everything is possible. We know it. everything is possible because of the Seven of Cups. He still thinks everything is possible. But the one thing he really wants to be king, in other words, is not possible. And hence the anger and the frustration. So what's going to happen? to him in the near future is the anger going to emerge is it going to cause some sort of behavior that might make it quite visible to us instead of being able to mask it mostly we're seeing glimpses of the truth uh, more and more in my opinion what's going to happen though is he going to get therapy and get better and i have the judgment card in reverse it's called discretion in this tarot, the judgment card, uh, discernment, yeah, good judgment. Um, it's in reverse. So somebody who lacks discernment makes errors of judgment. He could uh, do things that make people look at him and think, really? You're doing that. And we're seeing it already with the court cases, the insistence on suing about the security, the insistence on suing the press about phone hacking and stuff like that. That happened decades ago, still banging on about things. It looks as if he's still going to bang on about things that he should just let go of. Um, failing to learn a lesson, failing to see the reality of a situation. Because for me, the judgment card isn't so much about your own judgment your ability to discern it's about your ability to wake up and see the reality of the situation you are in and this reading doesn't really um, speak to me of anger so much as ability to see the reality of the situation you are in somebody who's been allowed to be deluded for large chunks of their life and is failing in the near term to wake up to the reality of his situation. He's just going to bang on the same old uh, destructive way. So how does he view himself right now, the situation? And I got the 10 of wands in reverse. This is somebody who's ready to give up, can't do it anymore. So this friend who's talking about the situation that he's in and um, that beneath the surface, there is all this anger and frustration, this friend, in my opinion, is on to something. Because this is the card of somebody who can't take it anymore. The way his life is going, the burdens that he is carrying, the loneliness, a very lonely card for me. I always say that, well, mostly say that. Ten of Wands, you're on your own. You're carrying all these burdens on your own. You're struggling. You're getting bad press, bad PR, because Wands are PR. And... Uh, he feels very hard done by. He feels 
as if he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. No one is helping him. Nobody's there to support him. Can't understand that nobody's there to support him because he cut them off. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. He thinks that they cut him off. But actually, he was the one that cut them off. So it's about perspective. And uh, the Judgment card can be a bit about perspective. Uh, who's seeing the thing the right way? Doesn't look like he is. And that's my opinion. So what pressure is he under from outside at the moment? Got the hangman. There it is. Perspective. Uh, I knew that I could feel this card in here. I nearly said, I bet this card is going to show up. But anyway, it didn't. And it has showed up. Uh, it's the hanged man. Pressure is that he feels that he's being hung out to dry. Self-pity. I'm the victim. I'm the sacrifice here. They've hung me out to dry to cover, to protect themselves. They've made me look bad to protect themselves. That's an ongoing bleat that he was constantly uh, um, bleating in spare apparently i didn't read it but about how william was made to look good at his expense so um, he was made to look awful to cover up the terrible things that william did that's the sort of narrative that's coming through here for me and that could make someone very angry if they felt that they were being treated unfairly and punished unfairly victimized and um, um, made to look bad basically so uh, there's that hopes and fears for this angry man this allegedly angry man i, I see anger on in him uh, we got the six of cups in reverse this is can't go back to the past uh can't hang out with your old friends it, precisely what this this friend told the press that harry is cut off from his past he he hankers for the past he hankers for britain he hankers for his friends he hankers for that old lifestyle we go and hang out down the pub as they say instead of surfing hanging out in california he would rather be living his old familiar lifestyle where he belonged, where he was rooted and grounded and he knew who he was. Now he doesn't know who he is and he's feeling very alone and very sorry for himself. Uh, so far, I have to say in this reading, I haven't got an angry card. I've got deluded. I've got um, self-pitying. I have got um, mostly deluded and self-pitying, entitled and spoiled. That's the energy that's coming through for me as a reader. Let's see. Future. Future Harry. Is he going to find inner peace and acceptance and joy? Which really is all of our work in this life, ultimately. And kindness and compassion. Or is he going to be an angry old man, a bitter, uh, a bitter man? What's going to happen? I've got justice in reverse. Oh dear, I don't like to see this. I don't like to see someone who's on their life path and really doesn't evolve and grow. And this is telling me he's not going to evolve and grow. It's interesting that we have a tree here, a justice tree. And um, we have a tree there. And that's a pregnant with possibilities tree. And this tree is a rather blighted tree and it's in reverse not growing not evolving not rooted not grounded and feeling that life is just terribly unfair and people who think that life is terribly unfair can be people who are terribly angry can feel that anger so it doesn't bode well for harry unless he uh, starts to look at life differently or get some help or gets away from somebody who might be fueling that sense of grievance he's not going to be a happy man and he's not going to be welcome back into the world that he really wants to go back to it's going to take a change of perspective and a well maybe even a personality transplant who knows uh, to get him there but uh, does not bode well and I think this friend was onto something in my opinion, of course. That's it.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow.